Hey everyone, we're back with another video about writing. And in this one, we're going to see the importance of transition in a research paper. We're going to see how and why transition helps in creating a very impactful piece of writing. Now, have you ever watched a movie or a TV series or read a book that has kept you hooked until the very end? It has kept you wanting for more. You want to binge watch or you want to binge read that book because you want to know what happens next. Do you know why, it is, why that is happening? It's not only because you are able to connect with the characters or the dialogues. It's also happening because the creator is paying attention to something called as transition. Transition means flowing from one event to another event flawlessly. The same thing happens in research papers. A research paper has typically many elements. Now, when the writer pays attention to how he's flowing from one element to another element and how he's connecting the two, he's able to create a good transition in the research paper. That transition helps the readers stay hooked with the research paper until the very end. There are different types of transitions. First one is transition within a paragraph. This means connecting all the sentences of your paragraph together. A reader when he is reading one sentence should be able to anticipate what he is about to read next. He shouldn't be like, oh, where did this come from? So when you tie all the sentences of a paragraph together, you are creating a good transition. This can be achieved if you follow a few rules. For example, if your sentence is too short, anything less than five words is too short then try creating try connecting it with the next sentence using a transition word like and or therefore however in spite of rather these are all transitioning words so if your sentences are too short connect them with the transition sentence and make sure that the sentence that is coming next is connected to the previous one let's see this with the help of a few examples I went to a restaurant, I ate a hamburger, I went back home, I felt uneasy. Now these sentences are quite short, that is each sentence has less than 5 words. And they are explaining an event but they seem to be slightly disconnected. One sentence has nothing to do with the other, so it's quite hard to follow. Could I write this in a better way? Let's see. I went to a restaurant and ate a hamburger. After I went back home, I felt uneasy. Now this paragraph is also explaining the same event but it does not seem, seem disconnected and is easier to follow. This is because the sentences first of all aren't too short. Each sentence has more than 5 words and because I have made use of transition words that is and and after, it is flowing better. I was able to join two sentences together using these transition words. Hamburger is a type of sandwich made from steak and burger buns. A variety of other ingredients are used in the hamburger. Hamburgers originated in Germany. Tomatoes and lettuce are the other ingredients used in a hamburger. Now this paragraph is clearly talking about hamburgers and although the main focus is on explaining its ingredients, the flow breaks when the origin of the hamburger is introduced rather abruptly. So the author goes right back to talking about the ingredients after that sentence. There is a disconnect here because of poor structuring of the sentences in this paragraph. That is, what is the origin sentence doing in a paragraph that is talking about its ingredients. So let's see if we can put this in a better way. A hamburger is a type of sandwich made from steak and burger buns. A variety of other ingredients like tomatoes and lettuce are used in the hamburger. Doesn't this seem to be flowing better? type of transition is transition between paragraphs. If you are writing a paper or a section that has multiple paragraphs, you need to make sure that each one of them feels connected to the other. The reader, after he has read a paragraph, he should feel like he has read something valuable but he should want to read more. He should feel like he is not satisfied with what he has read. That's when he goes to the next paragraph. But it is up to you to make sure that both these paragraphs are connected with transition words. Now there are a few small rules which you can follow to help you make this transition. Like your paragraph should not be less than 100 words. Anything less than 100 words feel too incomplete or too short. And you can use a few small transition words to connect two paragraphs. Like however or even after all this or in spite of this. 
So these are the transition words, same transition words that you can use to connect two paragraphs. Let's see this with the help of. There are many advantages of using Facebook. For instance, it is useful for education. It helps us stay connected with our friends and colleagues. Most importantly, it is an excellent medium of sales for small businesses. Facebook is addictive. There are also privacy concerns. There have been many password leak incidents in recent years. Now, both these paragraphs are clearly talking about one thing that is Facebook. But somehow, although the first paragraph is talking about the advantages, the second paragraph is talking in a negative tone that is talking about the problems of Facebook. So, I'm failing to see the connection between both the paragraphs. How did I jump from advantages to suddenly talking about disadvantages without any context? So what I do here to remedy this is I simply delete two sentences and I replace them with a transitioning sentence. However, there are disadvantages too. The first one being that it is addictive. Moreover, there have been many password leak incidents in recent years. As we can see, there are two paragraphs here. The first one is talking about the demographic background of a survey, while the second one talks about the popularity of a brand. But as a reader, I cannot build a connection between the two. Why did the author ask the respondents about their preferred brand? What exactly did they ask? There is no indication of this. So, a background about the second paragraph is needed here. If I add this background, the outcome will become like this. A survey was conducted on consumers of a health drink in New Delhi. The questionnaire consisted of demographic questions. It revealed that majority of the health drink consumers are female in the age group, 20 to 25 years. Further, to understand more about the health drink preferences, they were asked questions regarding their consumption behavior. This revealed that Real is the most preferred brand, followed by Tropicana and Natural. Here, I added a sentence to give an appropriate transition to the next paragraph so that the reader knows how demographic background relates to the consumer's brand preference. The next type of transition is transition between sections of a paper. Now, if your paper is dealing with more than one element, then you want to probably devote an entire section to discussing about it. Like, for instance, consumer satisfaction and its relation to repeat purchases. Now, there are two elements here, consumer satisfaction and repeat purchases. If you are devoting a section entirely to consumer satisfaction and another section to repeat purchases, now you want to connect these together in a good transition so that the reader feels like he wants to go on reading. He should feel how consumer satisfaction is connected to repeat purchases. The purpose of this is to give the reader the satisfaction of reading an element entirely but also to make him want to read about the next section. Now this can be achieved with the help of a transition paragraph. In the previous cases we could simply use words to create a transition between sentences and paragraph but in order to create transition between sections you need to connect them together with a paragraph, an entire paragraph. That paragraph should not only summarize what was learned in that section, but it should also give the reader a glimpse of what is about to come next so that he wants to go on reading. Now, there are a few rules which you need to follow when you're trying to give your paper a good transition. The first one is don't overdo it. Not every sentence needs a transition word. So you should have ideas for using transition words. Use a few tools like WordPress or Grammarly which can really give you good insights about the transition words you can use to connect two sentences together. I hope you found my video useful. If you did, if you have any doubts, drop a comment in this video and I'll get back to you.